Hello and welcome back to Nauticus and one of these uh, virtual adventures. Today we're here at our seahorse tank and we're actually about to watch them get fed. Uh, so seahorses have a very high metabolism. So they need to be fed uh, quite often considering the size of their bodies. Uh, right now they're getting fed little uh, mice, uh, they're little shrimp, uh, mice, um, that's what uh, they're going to be eating. So you can see them all spreading throughout the tank. Uh, and our seahorses are going after them right now. Uh, seahorses, because of the size of their fins compared to the size of their bodies, are not very strong swimmers. Uh, so they're gonna grab onto things with their tails throughout the tank. But you can see them getting around. They're going over to their food. Um, and then, I don't know if you can see this in the bottom of the tank, but we actually also have some baby horseshoe crabs inside of this tank. There's three of them inside of here. And they're going after the food as well because they are still growing. Um, so, uh, there, there's one over in the corner and there's one over here, but everyone's coming down and having their meal at the moment. Our seahorses live between one and four years, um, for, for this type. Uh, our horseshoe crabs, uh, can live in the wild for around 20. Um, there's a lot of research that still needs to be done on that, uh, so that age is, is still actually just kind of an estimate at the moment. But these guys are all still... Uh, little babies. So they still have a lot of growing to do as they move around. Um, their mouth is at the bottom of their bodies. So they're kind of going to walk over uh, the mice as they've settled along the bottom. Um, and they're going to uh, pull them up between their legs. Uh, they have 10 legs on the bottom of their body uh, with kind of grooved area in between and they'll be able to work those, the little shrimp up into their mouth so that they can eat that. Because uh, they, they need to keep eating and consuming all of this different food so that they can keep growing. And when their body increases in size enough, they'll be ready to, to molt uh, so that they can actually get bigger. So when they get enough energy, they'll be able to do that. Uh, these guys uh, have been molting a lot since we got them because they were so small. So they've been growing a lot recently. I have with me one of their older molts and you can see this right here. It actually has, um, you know, every little part still intact. Uh, so you can actually see through it that it has all 10 little legs. Uh, and this is when they were really small. So if you see them in the tank now, they are much bigger than this. Um, but this is uh, a molt from when they were smaller. And when they molt, they can get uh, honestly a lot bigger in size. It's about 25 to 33% bigger. Uh, again, that number is actually still being researched. It's, it's debated and it kind of depends on what the molt is, but they can get quite a bit larger with every molt that they do. So um, this is from one of uh, their molts from when they were a lot younger. Uh, and you can see how big they are, we're so proud. Um, and then you can actually see, and if you listen very carefully, you can hear our seahorses eating. Do you see them kind of pulling up the food into their mouth? And then do you see the stuff coming out of the back of their head as well? You can actually see it. So thank you for coming on this adventure with the seahorses with us today. Um, they're going to finish their meal along with our little baby horseshoe crabs. Um, but we are happy to show you uh, all of the, the care and, um, you know, the, the feedings and things that are obviously still going to be happening here at Nauticus, even with us closed. But this is what happens here uh, year round as we make sure our animals are as healthy and safe and well taken care of as possible. Um, thank you for joining us on this virtual adventure and we hope to see you on the next one. Bye.